Junior Senior. G'day YouTubers, it's Senior here from Junior Senior Gaming and today we are having a look at the brand new Mercedes-Benz Actros and this is in the 1.18 patch. Now it is uh, only in beta at the moment but we are, uh, well we jumped on it and we thought we'd have a quick look as soon as we possibly could, as soon as I could possibly get on there anyway. And this is it, so let's have a look on the outside. So. Now, when you actually go into the actual, uh, when you go into the, where the dealers are, there's no longer the, um, the Majestic, it is Mercedes-Benz now. So that is, they've actually secured the deal or whatever they had to do with Mercedes-Benz. So they've got all of the Big 7 in Europe, I think it's Big 7, is it, in Europe that uh, they have, are all in this game now. So that is great. Now, that's, as you can see, that's got a lot of detail, looks very nice and very well done. So let's go have a look at customized configuration. Now, what do we get with this? Well, let's see, we get this version here, which is the stream space. Then we get big space. And then we get giga space. Now, I'm not sure if they're actually official names. I'd assume that with Mercedes, they would be because they would say, oh, you've got to use our proper names. Um, so I'd say that that's what that's probably the what it would be. So um, look, I'm just going to stick it on the Giga Space there. Why not? Then with the chassis, we have the four x two. We have the six x two. We have six x two slash four. Six x two tag lift. Six x two slash four mid lift, and the six x four. Um, let's see, let's switch it around a bit because this one we haven't actually seen. So we'll start with that one and we'll see what else we can mix it up with. Now the engines, we have here the actual Euro 6. Uh, it is the, uh, what's that, uh, 184SOM471 Euro, Euro 6. I was going to call it the Euro 5 then for a second, but no, it's Euro 6. Um, goes all the way down from 4 to 1 horsepower to 625. That's a pretty nice size engine there. Um, I'm just going to leave it on the 421. Then for the gearbox, we only get one choice with this. It's the 12 speed and the 12 speed retarder is uh, all we get. Um, I don't know if this has got more gearboxes to choose from, but if it hasn't, that's pretty bad, Mercedes. You really need to, um, you know, make put more gearboxes in there. But um, I suppose these are designed designed for the European roads. Uh, not really. They wouldn't use it here in Australia, I don't think. Um, then we have the standard Giga Space, and then we have the UK. So this is the right-hand drive. Look, if this gets voted in the weekly drive to drive, then I will be doing right-hand drive for this. So, uh, not the left-hand drive like we are here. It will be the right-hand drive just like this. So, this is the choice that you get. You actually get a choice of the um, exclusive Gigaspace and just the standard Gigaspace. Now, since this is the Gigaspace, let's go down to Big Space and check out if it still gives us the same in, in, um, interior. Well, it does. It's it's pretty much the same. I'll switch over that side. See, if we switch over to the that one there, it's just changed the name is all I can really see. We switch over to there. So it's exactly the same. It's just changed the, um, changed the name by the looks of it. And just to make sure, we'll go to the actual, to the stream space. Oops, wrong one over to UK um, yep that's the same that is the same so that's fine we just wanted to make sure uh, because I did notice it was uh, had different names on there okay so now off to the paint and here we have white cloud black horse magic what's that Bordeaux magic I don't know what a Bordeaux is but anyway silver white and silver gray I actually like the silver white on this. If I was to buy one of these, it'd be silver white. Now, off to the external accessories, and it's pretty much the same sort of stuff here, 
to a point because I have noticed some different things. Um, no number plate version of that one there, so uh, that's that's a bit different. Uh, however, you can stick lights on there. Then we have the bull bars. Now, this I noticed was different. I'm not sure if they said you, you have to use this or not. Anyway, so we've got the dragonfly. Notice how it's bent in the middle there and goes down rather than just going straight across. Then we've got that one there. It all fits perfectly, as it should. Then there's... Yes, we're going to take that one off there. Then there's this one here. This is a new one. This is not one that I've seen before. Um, then we put this one on. It's a smaller version of there's a... There's, that, that, that's actually in the actual game. But then again, it's bent as well. Um, that one there is standard. And that one there. Which this one here, it doesn't look too bad. Not sure if I'd own that on a real truck. But it doesn't look too bad. Now, um, I'm thinking, since they don't have my favorite bull bar, what should we put on? Let's let's put on that one there, even though we can't put any spotlights on. It's a bit of a shame, but anyway. Now, uh, then we go off to the steps. So you get the stock and the serpent. You don't get any ninja or anything like that on there, which is a bit of a shame, but anyway. Door handles, you get plastic paint and chrome we go for paint let's go paint um, oh, that's bull bars now up here this was interesting sun visor it says that's it one you can have none or one no you can't have any of the other ones so maybe there was an agreement there that said you cannot use these other ones it has to be ours only so wow uh, then we got for the mirrors we have plastic paint and chrome now it's paint with a tad of chrome on there which is if we can try and zoom in there we'll have a look see how it's paint and then there's that tad of chrome I actually like that with that touch of chrome on there I like that very much and then there's the actual side mirror there you can take that off or put it on that's all you can do with that now what else then we have up the top here we have the light bars, which is the pretty much the standard light bars in the game. Now, I'm going to put that one on there. Put on a couple of the lumen chrome, crom, crim, 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 what, whatever. We all know what I'm talking about, honestly. I don't know what I'm talking about sometimes, but it still sounds pretty good. Uh, then we go off to, let's see, tone um, raw. Put raw on. I just keep choosing raw. I don't know why I keep choosing raw. I just like raw. I think raw is pretty good. Anyway, for the actual beacon, we will put the bonfire. You can choose the space. And there we are. That's If we can zoom in there, that's what it looks like. And there's a bonfire. I'm just going to leave the bonfire on there. Now, this is the part that I wanted to check out. Here we have the side skirts. Now, these look really nice. You get that nice bit of chrome on the side there, or protection side skirts uh, with exhaust, or protection side skirts. So it's up to you. There's just that bit of chrome on there that makes that difference. Now for the rims, it's basically the same rims through the uh, the game there. So that's normally there. Uh, ravens look ravens look good. Um, again, guys, look, Ravens, uh, I get a lot of people asking me questions about the Raven rims. Where do I get them from? Well, it was a special. Um, it was a special thing that they had at Christmas time. If you did so many deliveries, then you got this in a Raven skin pack. So that's where I got it from. Um, a lot of people ask me where I get it from, and that's it. You can't, and no, you cannot get it anymore. Uh, it was a limited time only. So uh, I'm going to go Eastern Eagle. Because if in doubt, Eastern Eagle is basically the way I roll. And as for tyres, I'm going to put the runners on there because I seem to be getting very... I seem to like the runners a lot. I really do. Um, hopefully they do get the... They do make it so you can get tyres. So Goodyear, uh, Michelin, uh, Bridgestone, that sort of thing on there. That would be really good if, uh, if they did that. Now, um, what's down the bottom? That's right. There is, you can go exhaust or you can go the little katana thing down the bottom. It's uh, just a bit of plastic 
with that one. Now, is it the same with the other one? Let's see. Yes, it is. It's exactly the same with the other one because I've noticed that there's a couple of little hidden surprises here. Now, one thing I wanted to try before we go any further is let's go back to the actual chassis. All right. Now, will this change it? Let's see. Go back here. Off to there. There we go. There's some more there for that. But it doesn't allow you to have the under thing underneath there. So you can't have that. That's that's strange. I find that to be strange. If we change the chassis again, right, will that one? Yes, it will. There is a shorter version of it. So that's cool. That's very cool. But again, you can't select anything underneath the katana or whatever else that, that was there, the exhaust. Now, uh, what about the that one there? And again, yeah, it's letting you do it. So that's really good. I like how they've gone and done that. And that is for all of them. It allows you to do that for all of them. There we go. Look at that. That's nice. But I still like... I still like that one there. I'm going to leave it on that one there. Um, and that there. And then what are we going to do? We're going to go back over here. We're going to stick that on there. The chrome, bitty, chromey, thingy, duvalacky. There we go. And that is it for all the accessories for now. Let's fix that up so it's Eastern Eagle. And we get Runner. So it looks matches anyway. Otherwise, it looks rubbish. So look, that is pretty much it. Now we go on to the inside. And unfortunately, there's no more. It's not like the other mods where you can select extra options or anything like that inside. No, but if we look at the interior, I think this absolutely looks wonderful. I love it. I really do love it, the interior. It's awesome. So look, let's confirm that at 275,000 pounds. And we will do a trade-in. Yes, please, trade-in from that last mod. And there we go. Let's have a look on the outside. All right, so here we are on the outside, and as you would expect, it looks absolutely brilliant. You can see all those the detail and lines in there that look really good, and even the badges look good on there. Grill, I mean, it's it's great. Oh, little bit jagged there, I saw. Oh, I'm gonna have to jump out and check that out. I don't believe I actually saw that. Oh, wow. Um, but this is still in beta. It's not actually the final release. Let's have a look. What did I see right there? Just on the corner. Now, this is me. This is me being fussy, guys. Right on the corner there, as it uh, just underneath the window where it sort of dips down to the grill, it's actually jagged right there. Just that little spot. What about the logo looks all right? The rest of it is just great, except for that one little patch there. Wow, I'm not sure. Maybe they missed that. Look at that. That is awesome. That really, really is awesome. And the detail throughout the actual back there looks really good. Now, let's start her up and see what it sounds like. Okay, so new sounds. That is the new Mercedes sound now. Unfortunately, they still haven't fixed that. They still haven't fixed that sound issue. Oh, dear. Um, if we actually jump into the cab. Now, I can't hear that. They haven't fixed that sound issue in 1.8. So, um, what I'm going to do just quickly is go in and change that to what did I put it up to four I think it was you can actually go to six so the co the actual uh, command there is uh, s underscore uh, interior underscore volume and then space and then we put four and you can hear the volume so if we give that a rev if I can find my pedals hang on you can hear the volume now. So before, 
you couldn't hear it. So if we reset that, set that back again to one, and then we go one. Okay, jump out of there. It's very quiet. See, very, very, very quiet. See, now uh, I'm just going to fix that back up. It won't be too long. That's a big difference. See, I, I actually think that's a that's a big difference in there. All right, so um, just going to increase the volume here so on the my control panel as well. Now, let's go take this for a drive, and I will try not to stack it because I'm on the other side. Um, believe it or not, I do have a lot of difficulty driving with this side at the moment. <laughs> It seems that way. Alright, so... Um, oh, that was the actual service centre back there. We missed it, but that's alright. We'll go back. Let's go for a little drive first. And... Uh, look, it's driving really nice. This is going to be a... Uh, this is going to be very, very good for inside the game. I mean, braking is not too much of an issue. Whoops, sorry, I spoke too soon. It just was really, went really touchy then. Turning. No, I can't hear the exhaust brakes. Okay, let's see if we can hear them now. There they are. Alright. Uh, horn? Yeah, it's normal horn. So you can see that with this, even with the standard engine here, we're, you know, pulling away pretty quick. I may have to adjust, if I was to use this, I may have to adjust the brakes because that was really touchy then. Um, let's pull in here and have a look in through the actual service center. Boof, that was a bit rough there, that was. Um, let's see, and, whoops. <sighs> Didn't quite get there. Okay, so quickly jump in there and let's have a look upgrade. And that is the same. That's the same. Same engines, same gearboxes, same interior, same paint. Uh, number plates is all you can do, which is no surprise. Yep, and that's it. Now, what skins can we do? We should be able to do all of the skins. Right, so look, there we go. There is all the skins that we can do. That is great. So metallics, custom metallics, everything. is. Are they matching up? Yes, they are. Look at that. They're working properly. That's great. That really is. I just wanted to make sure because, yeah, look at that. That's working really well. I wanted to make sure because um, because it's only a new truck, I wanted to see if it's going to work well. Um, yeah, it's working well. That's working really well. I like that indeed. So can we actually go down to, where is it? Do, 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 do. Here we go. You can see all my... Uh, all my uh, new skins that I've uh, that I've purchased. Here we go. That's the one there, the Viking one. That's the the Vikings pack there. That one there, I like that. And I think that that yellow is a little bit more golder than what it was. But um, where's uh, the rest of them? Oh, it's just so many of them. Look, I got so many skins here. It's crazy. Um, there's the the Fury there. There's the the Wrath. American. Look, there's heaps and heaps and heaps of skins. Look, there's the Raven skins that I was talking about. That's what I'm talking about. There's the Christmas ones. Um, there is heaps and heaps and heaps of skins. That All of the skins. And so it should be. It should be all of the skins. So I'm just going to go back to... Where is it? There it is there. That one there. Confirm order, please. Thank you very much. And that is it. So let's park this over here so we can see it in the sun. Not that there's much sun at the moment. It is a little bit crummy here. 
right this second. Uh, let's jump out and have a look. So, look, there we are, guys. That is... That is the new Mercedes-Benz Actros that uh, SES have been promising to us for some time now, and it has finally come out. So in the brand new 1.18 patch, and that's better, we're in the sun. A bit better now. And I think this looks really, really nice. I like it. I like it a lot. So, um, look, if you, well, the thing is, you, you can't get it right. Well, the only way you can get it now is if you go and do the 1.18 beta test, which is on Steam only. So, um, other than that, you'll have to wait for it to come out. But, uh, look, guys, if you want to see this in the actual weekly drive, then you know what to do. Down below in the comments, put yes, I would like to see it in the weekly drive, or no, I would not like to see this in the weekly drive. Um, and if again, if this gets in the weekly drive, then I will be driving this on right hand drive. As uh, I have promised uh, a few people that I will be doing that if I get a right hand drive truck. So, there we go, that is it. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Look, if you like this video, then don't forget to share. Uh, keep the shiny side up and the greasy side down, and I'm 1010 on the side. And remember, game on! Thanks for watching, YouTubers. If you'd like to see more videos, then click on the links beside. Just over here, we take a look at the brand new DLC for the Norwegian Paint Jobs Pack. Just below that, we take a look at the Kenworth T800 Beta 2 for Euro Truck Simulator 2. If you'd like to visit our website or you'd like to subscribe, then click on the links below. If you like this video, then don't forget to share. Thanks again for watching, YouTubers, and remember, game on!